Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. We're going to keep working on the game. What I want to do this time is just fix up some stuff, you know, uh, make everything a little cleaner. <coughs> oh my god, that sneeze, bro. Oh my god. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take, go in to take, or get damage. We're actually going to go in to get damage. And we're going to straight up copy this. and just paste it in player cpp um update leveling just gonna do this here uh, int const int get damage const just gonna do this like that and uh, oh really where is it? Get damage const const int. Wait, what? The type qualifier is not allowed in a non-member. Uh, oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Player, I just sneezed all over my stuff. God damn! Gotta clean that later. Okay, so player. There we go. So, what is this integer? Damage max is an integer, integer, okay, so int damage, okay, we're going to see here, <clears throat> if, or switch, uh, this current weapon, so case laser break, case missile 01, break, Case missile O2 break and then default uh, and then break. There we go. So we got some stuff. We got our int damage. Now remember, you can't actually do new variables within switch cases unless you do some special stuff. Uh, make kind of what do you call it? Uh, these these uh, brackets and stuff, but it, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna create it outside, and I'm gonna do this. Damage equals random. This is for the laser. This is for the missile. And damage multiplied by. So for regular missiles, it's gonna do the double damage of whatever we get. And for heavy missiles. Gonna do <clears throat> we're gonna do the same thing uh, damage equals four so four times and that's gonna be heavy now for whatever reason if it doesn't work we'll have a default of a regular damage and then we'll just return damage so there we go that's good um, let's see So what are we going to do? We did that. That's good. I'm going to game. Uh, let me run the game though. Let me see if this works. Nope. Are you serious? Unresolved external. One unresolved externals. I think there's something wrong with my get damage. Oh, it's in. Wait, is that it? I don't know. Int get damage const I'm just gonna change it up a little bit int get damage const what about now there we go okay so that works that's good now what if we have missiles missiles so I'm gonna change the current weapon to missile 01 Oh, one, and I'm gonna make this true so I get double missiles. Now we're gonna just merge everything down. Let's kill everything. Okay, so it's really it's damaging stuff really hard. That's good. That's great. Alright, that's great. So this is just to kill everything. Alright, 
I'm still getting XP, which is good, since everything is dying. Alright. Do that false, say laser. There we go. And what are we gonna do now? Well, I did make a few stats here. These things. I gotta put them to zero. Damage max. This okay, damage max. HP. Let me do stat points zero. Okay, EXP. XP next is handled. Cooling zero. Cooling, yeah, zero. Uh plating zero. Wiring zero and then power zero. There we go. Damage min, damage max is good. HP is taken care of. Score current weapon is good. Minigun level is good. Uh, minigun sprite, where's guns here? Upgrades, okay, so we're, we seem to be fine for now. That's good. Okay, that's great. So what I'm gonna start by doing is I'm gonna add a new class. I'm gonna call it text tag. A text tag class and give it a virtual destructor. Finish it off and put it all the way in the end. Text tag that CPP. Put it in the end. So what this is gonna do? This is gonna give us damage numbers. So make a class for that, private, okay, and then we're going to have a font font pointer, we're going to have a text, text, so the tag text, and we're going to include everything in here, everything in here, and then using namespace sf same thing include text tag uh, whoops I kinda named it wrong here I wanna do a big T text tag um, rename to text tag oh wait what Okay, whatever. Uh, text tag two. Text tag three. Make that big. Are you serious? Uh, this sucks, balls, bros. Uh, let me just remove it, delete it, remove it. Just copy this first. Remove it, delete it, and then add new class text tag yes I need to have big letters all right it's important um, so text tag dot H just include that there we go now we're good bullet it's gonna be text tag there we go there we go. Okay, so we're good. Now, what we're gonna do is do private. God damn, all this stuff. I don't even know why I program anymore. Font, font pointer. Um, text, text. That's good. Then we're gonna have a bunch of timers and stuff. We're gonna have a update and a draw. Update, const, float dt dt void draw there we go and boom and boom so we're gonna have a vector I think of text tags and we're just gonna we're just gonna use that it's gonna be good uh, okay 
Uh, here we go. Then, of course, we need a render target. Render target. Target. Make sure it's fine. Target. Uh, draw this text. And then, as we do this, we need a font pointer. Font. We're going to need a string text. Uh, string text. STD string text. What else are we going to need? Text, font, a vector 2f position, a size as well, in size, character size. Uh, let me see if it's an int. Text dot set this text dot set character size. It requires an unsigned int. Okay. Signed int size. So a position, a size, a text, and a font. And let's start with that actually. Let's start with that. Copy that. Paste it in here. Uh, so we have a nice constructor. This text dot set font. Oh, we need a color as well. Set font. So text color color. We're gonna do a color as well. Color set font font. Dereference it. This text.set character size size and this text.set position position this text string as well to text and what else do we need font text color we need color this text.set color 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 Boom. So we've got a bunch of stuff going. We can make a text tag. And in update, we're going to just move that text up and make it more and more invisible. And as we do that, the timer, we're going to have a text type timer, timer max, and a current timer. So float timer max, float timer. So this float no uh, this timer max equals say it's gonna be up for 10 this timer equals this timer no equals zero equals this timer max I can go down to zero actually it's a little better so since we have DT update timer if this timer is greater than zero, this timer, and we got to do this as well. Float dt multiplier. This dt multiplier equals 62.5. Watch my other videos, like the two, two last videos if you haven't, because there I explain what I'm doing with all this stuff and how I made the game frame rate independent. But if you have watched that, then it's good. Plus equals 1.f multiplied by dt multiplied by this dt multiplier, which is required. So now the timer is going to tick correctly. And uh, what am I going to do then? 